Hello and welcome to the Pleasanton Garbage Service, or PGS, transfer station. If you live in Pleasanton, this is where all of your waste ends up. Anything you put in a trash can is not sorted and goes directly to the Vasco Road landfill. Today we are going to go into detail about what happens to the items that you place in your recycling bin. If you turn to the right and look behind you, you can see the $1.8 million Material Recovery Facility, or MRF, which sorts the recycling. It took six months to install in 1996. Directly in front of you, there is a large rectangular trench in the ground. Semi-trucks park underneath the pit and material is pushed into it and into the trucks. On the other side of the trench, you can see a truck just arriving with a load of mixed recycling. This material has come from residential recycling bins. The mixed recycling must now be sorted by type. For example, Cardboard, glass, and aluminum cans will all be separated and sold. The sale of these materials helps offset the amount that we pay for our recycling service. This is the beginning of the MRF. It is a large machine that is used to sort mixed recycling. Slightly to the left, you can see a vehicle, called a loader, moving piles of recycling onto the conveyor belt. The items that people have placed in their recycling bins are spread in a thin layer on the conveyor belt, which moves the material to workers who sort out the trash from the recycling. When people put non-recyclable items in their recycling bins, it causes contamination. To your right, you can see the workers sorting the trash out from their recycling. Sometimes people put things in their recycling bins that can cause injury or unsafe conditions to these workers. This is why it is so important to properly sort your recycling. By only recycling the proper items, we are showing respect and compassion to these workers. They are an important step in this recycling process and we shouldn't make their jobs any harder than necessary. This is a different angle to show how much material passes through the MRF every minute. Those workers are only human and they can't remove every single piece of trash that people have put in their recycling. This becomes important later when PGS tries to sell the product. As contamination increases, the price will decrease and that can result in higher costs for recycling services. These workers are sorting the specific types of recyclable material. You can see the man pick out an item, possibly a plastic water bottle, and then throw it to the corresponding pile. Each employee has one item to look for in order to make the process as efficient as possible. On this strip, the workers are removing plastic bags from the waste stream. When people put plastic bags in their recycling bins, they can get stuck in the gears of the machine and it must be shut down for costly maintenance. Not all the sorting is done by people. The MRF sorts some types of recyclables out automatically by a system of conveyor belts, magnets, and sensors, which you can see directly above you or in front of you where the interns are looking. In this specific section of the MRF, air blows up through the teeth of the machine, causing paper to float up so it can be siphoned off. Heavier items are not affected by the air and continue to roll down the belt. Directly in front of you, there is a large pile of cardboard that has been sorted out. It will be baled and sold. Each bale can weigh anywhere between 800 and 1,000 pounds. It is important to keep your cardboard dry because some recyclers won't buy wet cardboard and then it has to go to the landfill. Besides the fact that we're wasting material that could be recycled, it is also more expensive to send items to the landfill than it is if we recycle them properly. Thank you for joining us on our virtual field trip of the Pleasanton Garbage Service Transfer Station. We hope that after seeing how much goes into sorting your recycling, you will understand why it is so important to keep trash out of your recycling bin. Recycling only works if the materials can be sold to companies who will buy them and make new items. If there is too much contamination, no one will buy our recyclables and they will have to be sent to the landfill. We understand that this can be confusing, but we urge you to do the best you can and learn the specific guidelines to recycling in your home city.